Good morning, boss. Good morning. It's 84 degrees already. <laughs> yeah. Where's your air conditioner? She's getting it fixed on the 12th of August when we're getting a cold front. It's a high of 72. Go figure, right, guys? Oh, she must be gathering the dogs. Oh, because we pulled up. Mm. Or the dog poo, hopefully, right? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. But... Hopefully he moves his car down or he's parked on the front lawn. How am I gonna mow it? Mow around it. Man, it's hot. We're doing eight jobs before we go back to the house. Yeah. But I think we should be able to get all eight of these done within three hours. Um, and then the last one we're doing, we are taking away bamboo and we're not charging her anything for that. We're taking it because we need it for our tomatoes, so. Yeah. Right. What do, what do we have to do the other two over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I couldn't think of who the seventh one was. And we are getting ready to go into a little mini cool down. Um, tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, it's only going to be ninety three and ninety four. Really. And man. ninety. Really. Man. <laughs> I like messing with the boys. No, it is. I'm not lying. It's going to be ninety three degrees, ninety four degrees. No, but, and then it is really supposed to get a little cooler. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday of next week, I don't even think we make it in past 79 degrees. That's nice. That's but that's nice. more average, 82 degrees for us, not 92. We're about 10 degrees over. But we're going to get out and get all these done so we can maybe be done, take a break in the hot of the afternoon. Yeah, that would and be then nice. And maybe come back out and do a couple more. Yeah, so that would be nice. So we'll see. Yeah. Let's go. It's two weeks of growth. A little over two weeks and look at it see something like these like these little weeds that are here um we'll spray them probably next week when we get cooler and it'll kill this stuff but for the most part we don't have that many weeds in our lawns oh, like over right. here see all this what are you doing i'm sorry i had to it pulled it up a little bit so i can at least get underneath oh you don't like smacking your head no on branches so guys, we're gonna show you a prime example why we don't take plants away from clients' houses. Because, oh, look at that nice dent in your truck. Where'd that come from? Who knows, probably me. But we're gonna show you when we open this trailer why we don't take things from clients' houses sometimes. Because somebody forgets that we put it in there. Why do we not take stuff from clients? But why not? It was already at the back of my trailer, guys, before I had a say. <laughs> yeah, it was. So there was no going back, no take backs. No take backs. So. Yeah, flowers are good, right? Anybody need lilies? Rachel said she'll ship them to you. We have plenty of them. <laughs> you want to ship li lilies out? Yeah, they're orange, yellow, and... Like a peach color. Oh, nice. So we're done this one. We just got to blow off. Rachel's finishing up this one. Just blow off. Then she's got to do that one. I just got to go down here and edge this one. Look, mushrooms. Mushrooms. They got a lot of rain here. And we didn't put a fungicide on this one. Okay, I'm going down there to edge that one. Okay, we're done all these five. Now we're in 15 minutes. Rachel's blowing everything off. Um, I don't think we still have been paid for this one. It's been like uh, probably eight or nine mows. So we'll have to see from Rachel. But I record every one we do. And he, he agreed to it. So we'll see. I don't know. She must have nuked it. Remember the bees last time we were here, guys? She must have nuked them because they are dead, I think. No, she said that she wasn't gonna burn them because of the cellar, septic the septic being right under there. So I really think that that was the one dish soap. Really? Yeah. To do that to the grass? I don't know, but we're mowing this one, guys. I'll get you there.
So we're at number seven. This one has got to be the hardest one. Really? I really want to jump in this river back there. But yeah, that's the hardest thing about this is that we can't, you know, borrow a kayak and go kayaking. I was thinking about going swimming, not kayaking. Forget the kayak. Oh, boy. We got a call from a client. Hopefully we didn't break a window. Hopefully it's just her asking when she can pick her pumpkin, right? Yeah, the our voicemail isn't working in this area so we're gonna have to wait until we get out of this area and hopefully she i don't left. think i did but i haven't broken if she a didn't leave ever. a voicemail i'll just call her back but that's a good question how many of you guys have ever broken a window in 12 years knock on wood i've never broken one window no we had an employee break one that was 10 years 11 years ago 11 years ago and yeah. we repaired it and the guy stiffed us out of our payment anyway. <laughs> yeah, I fixed the window. I personally have never broken a window. Yeah. But we'll knock on wood. Maybe it's because I use a guard, Rach. Yeah, maybe. So how many of you guys have broken windows in your in the business? And be honest, guys, and let me know. Do you run a guard when you've broken that window? Did Drew run a guard? No, he ran a lawnmower that put it through the window, I think, or oh. something. I don't know. Next thing you know, the win it was a new client. We picked For all I know, the window could have been broken because I don't know how it got broken. He just came up to me and said, oh, I think I broke the window. So Drew said that? Yeah. Oh, really? So he probably did. Yeah, he was not a good employee, guys. It was the worst, one of our worst business mistakes. Yeah. But it was actually he was actually supposed to be like a partner a partner business. and help grow the business and it just um did not work did out not work. so carl that is when carl and i realized that we just wanted to do it on our own um us be the boss mm -hmm. and then last year is when we really realized that we don't even want to deal with employees. That it's just me and Rachel. And then if the boys want to take it over, oh my gosh, that squirrel just did a flying squirrel <laughs> right out the tree onto the rail. Okay, so let's get this one done. Yeah, um, it only takes a couple yeah, minutes. Only I'll show you the river. The biggest mowing. part is the weed eating in the back, right? Yeah. So. so here's the next one, guys. This one's really simple and easy. It's just this part and weed eating. So and then we have one more to do. So here's the river, guys. I don't know if you'd want to swim in that today. Usually it's clear. We've had so much rain that up here, not down by us, that it's so dirty and murky right now. So I gotta weed eat the rest of that here, and then I'm good to go. And one more. So here's the next one, guys. Man, that was like 14 days too. That ain't even long. I guess I'm gonna go diagonal with this one today. On hot, sweaty days, I suggest to bring like 20 face masks because this stinks really bad. <laughs> you have gas? Yeah, I guess so. You're out of gas? I'll bring you some. Does it stay empty?
on this one, I'm going to go venture up and get a whole bunch of bamboo up here. But we're doing this for free because we need it for tomatoes. So guys, we did not go back out to work. It was way too hot. It was like 94 with the heat index. So I decided to stay home. We did eight jobs. Oh my goodness, look how red these pimento peppers are. We did eight jobs. I'm coming out here to um, stake up some tomatoes. I'll show you after I'm done. But I had to show you, Scalpy got a new mower. Doesn't look like he went as low. He did go low though, because I just mowed this. But he got a new mower, a Kubota we seen down there. Brand new and shiny, but that's nice. He didn't go as low, but he did cut everything I just cut two days ago that you guys seen in the video. I don't know why he does that, but I guess he's helping. So let's go stake these tomatoes up with all that bamboo that I got. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do it because they are growing nice in these bags. Okay, I found the spray yesterday after I sprayed. I was out here just for a second putting these tomatoes up and I got bit seven times. So I'm gonna spray some of this Ranger ready and see if I, I think last night when I sprayed it, they stayed away because I gotta finish doing these and I gotta bring this sprinkler up here. I'm gonna overhead water these into the night since they haven't gotten fungus yet and they're dry. So let's go ahead and get this done. So guys, it's the next day. It's a little bright out here. Of course, I got the water going to water all these tomatoes. So this is what I ended up getting done last night. You guys, I showed you the bamboo. Um, we're about to go out and do our big pruning job, but you guys won't see that till the next video. So please like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and we really appreciate it. All your comments. Um, guys, remember, be happy, or at least try. Have a good day.